Hello, this is Warlord. We're going to take a look at creating our own bump maps without ever leaving the application. And this is when you particularly need just a little more detail in things like wood grain, brick, things of that nature. So, let's get started. Okay, we'll use a wall prop to demonstrate this. And if you've seen anything or used the wall prop before, or seen anything that I've done, you know that we've got to come in and correct this UV map. It looks good, but it's not tiling or it's not fitting right. It's actually leaving some of it out. So what we're going to do is go over to Material, come down here to UV Settings, go to Planar, and as I said, if you're not sure which one it is, just start going through it. And there you see on Y, and now we've got it fitting right. Okay, now let's roll back up to where the textures are. Come over here to your base color, right click, hit Copy. Or excuse me, before we do that, Let's come over here and delete the bump map. You'll see as I, excuse me, it's, it's a normal map actually with that color. You'll see here as I delete it that nothing actually happens because it's not really a, not really doing anything. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is allow the displacement map to create that for us. So we're going to copy, we're going to come to displacement, we're going to paste, and a yes, we're going to want to auto assign a bump map. And you may want to come back and do this twice. Undo it, come back and try vector displacement. Just play with it so you'll know. Now, here in just a second, you should already see that we're getting some more detail here. I'll tell you what, just to make sure that we can see that, I'm going to undo it. And I am going to bring this one that's going to stay original so we can look at it. Which means, of course, that I need to come over here and unlink the textures so one doesn't affect the other. Now I'm just going to copy again, come back over here and paste, leave that like it is. It takes a few seconds on my computer for it to react. I don't know if you can see the difference yet on your system, but I'm already seeing a lot more grain in this rock. Now another thing you need to keep in mind is that it is used to working with grayscale on some of these things. So this is where the adjust color comes in handy and I use this tool a lot. Come in here and desaturate it. It may not exactly be the right grayscale, but when you desaturate you will definitely see this increase over here. Come up to bump map, do the same thing. As you can see the change there already. We'll go through that again. You can see going back and forth how it's making the changes. It settles in and that's all we've done basically is use our color adjust to come in here and kind of make a quick and dirty uh, displacement and bump map. And we'll come in here a little closer and maybe you can see this where there's a lot more grain and things showing than there are in this particular one. Now I realize this is something that is difficult to see in just one prop but when you do it on your own you will see the difference particularly in areas like this that's one of the reasons that I've refrained from actually showing this tutorial is you can see it better on your own monitor than you can actually see it in action but I even think from here you can see a lot more bump right there than you see over here a lot more roughness now it's not going to really bring the bricks out or anything like that you may want to go down and play with your tessellation and displacement uh, your multiplier is only going to split apart your box so I don't know if you're going to be able to really use it you have tessellation level but this isn't really going to do that it's not really that set up for that but what it does is give you just a whole lot more detail in the brick itself this is wood grain and everything else anyway this is something else that I've got email on is how do you make a bump map well if you don't have uh, kind of a plug-in to do it this is just a quick and dirty way to do it and you don't ever have to leave the application. I hope this helps.